hello and welcome back today i am going to talk about uh, the concept of inner products so what is that the meaning of the word inner product so actually here i am going to talk about the standard inner product in our aim so let me write that down first so i am talking about the standard standard inner product inner product in n dimension euclidean space rn so or maybe in or on in rn so that what is that concept so actually now let me go step by step till now we know that if we have two vectors so one vector alpha and suppose another vector beta in rn and we know that how to add these two vector and we know that after adding these two vector we will get another vector gamma in rn so we know how to add two vector so next we know that how to multiply a vector by a scalar so we know that the scalar multiplication of a vector and we know that after multiplication by a scalar we get another vector for example we uh, vector alpha 1 which is belongs to rn so we know that so till now we know that how to add vectors how to multiply y a vectors uh, how to multiply a vector by a scalar now you may ask what will going to happen if we multiply two vectors so what is the meaning of the product of two vectors alpha and beta i uh, till now i can uh, we do not do not have the answer what is the concept of multiplication means so here we going to define the what is multiplication of two vectors going to have so for that because we are doing uh, the products in one set so product inside rn that is why it is called the inner products and uh, we are go only going to talk about the standard inner product in rn so you can define various type of inner products uh, in on the set rn or on the vector space rn but we are only going to talk about the standard inner product in rn which is on your syllabus and from there you can derive some results and you can apply the inner products standard inner product to uh, get uh, uh, some new results from there so let's talk about what is standard inner product so what is the definition of so let's talk about what is the definition of multiplication of two vectors or product of two vectors so here we define the standard inner product in rn so suppose we have two vectors so suppose suppose we have one vector alpha which is uh, a1 a2 in this way we have n coordinate because this is a vector in rn and we have another vector beta and suppose the coordinate of beta is b1 b2 in this way we have n coordinate because beta is also a vector in rn so alpha is a vector in rn and beta is also another vector in rn so what we going to do so we define so define so let me write that down sorry for my handwriting so define define the product so what we going to use the notation so we're going to need uh, use this notation alpha comma beta somewhere also you find alpha dot beta so do they are the notation to denote the inner products so they are the notation for inner product so they are let me write that down notation for inner product inner product of two vector alpha and beta so how it is defined so we define alpha comma beta in this way it is called uh, con sorry component wise multiplication so it's uh, going to have this is called a standard inner folder so a1 b1 a2 b2 i think you already know about this type of product this type of vector multiplications from your physics this is also called the dot product of two vector alpha and beta so which is a1 b1 so coordinate wise multiplication so you can see that because a1 is a real number b1 is a real number a2 is a real number b2 is a real number in this way all are real number so addition of and multiplication of real number are real number so uh, multiplication of two vectors defined in this way 
is a real number so we get a real number so let me going with uh, s- uh, some example uh, so w- let ask uh, let me do it uh, example in r2 so s- we are talking about the standard inner product in r2 i hope you understand so what is the multiplication or the inner product of two vectors in rn so standard inner products so i j- f- from now on i just only write the inner product uh, i w- do not want to write each time the standard so inner product so but remember that we are what we am talking about is a standard inner product so inner product on uh, the vector space r2 so for example we have a vector so alpha which is 1 comma 2 and beta is another vector which is minus 1 comma suppose i take 3 so what is the multiplication of alpha and beta so multiplication of alpha and beta going to be 1 into minus 1 plus 2 into 3 so you see that uh minus 1 plus 6 which is going to be 5 which is a real number so this is the this is how we have to do the multiplication of two vectors so what is going to happen so here you can see what about beta comma alpha so you can see that is only minus 1 into 1 and 3 comma 2 which is again gives the same answer so actually Uh, the standard inner product is commutative in the sense that if we have two vectors in R n, two vectors in R n, then we have the inner product between alpha and beta, which is same as inner product between beta and alpha. They gives the same answer. So this is you can treat it as one of the property of inner product. So this is how the inner product works. Okay, let's talk about the inner product of um, two vector in R three. So let's talk about that. So inner product of two vector in R three. So vector in R three. So here we go vector in R three. For example, let me take a vector alpha which is. 1 minus 1 suppose 0 so what we going to do here we multiply alpha with alpha so what we get so alpha will alpha is 1 into 1 plus minus 1 into minus 1 plus 0 into 0 so because uh, if if you just want to write another alpha so from here you will get 1 Minus one and zero. So we multiply this component with this component, second component with second component, and third component with third component, and we get a vector. So we get here basically one plus one. We get two basically. So actually, what we going to have? So this is. Uh, so let me uh, give you one the quick uh, observation over here. Suppose we have vector alpha. in rn so what of this for example let me take a vector in r3 so for example alpha is a1 a2 and a3 so what we going to have and if i multiply alpha with alpha so we will get a1 into a1 plus a2 into a2 plus a3 into a3 so what we get we get a square a1 square a2 square plus a3 square now you can see that a1 square is positive or maybe greater than equals to 0 maybe 0 so greater than equals to 0 a2 square is also greater than equals to 0 a3 square is also greater than equals to 0 so multiplication of two vectors Uh, it itself is of give something a real number which is obviously greater than or equals to zero. This is another observation. So here we get two observations of multiplication uh, of inner product. So observations, observation we get uh, in inner product in <coughs> R n. One is alpha comma beta is same as beta comma alpha. 
another is if we have two vector alpha comma alpha which is always greater than or equals to zero one more thing you there you can see from here that alpha comma alpha alpha comma alpha going to be equals to zero when it's going to be equals to zero if a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square equals to zero and because all of them are positive and they are um, addition so their summation is positive and this is equals to zero the only option is a1 have to be equals to zero a2 have to be equals to zero a3 have to be equals to zero there the, these three things three components all have to be zero otherwise if, if at least one of them is non-zero this not going to have equals to zero so third observation is that alpha the inner product alpha alpha is zero if and only if, if and only if the alpha each component alpha is zero so which means alpha is a zero vector alpha is a zero vector in rn or maybe here is r3 similarly it also true for r2 r4 r5 all rn so this is true for all rn so this type of observation we can see for the uh, product of two vectors in rn so let's talk about now we're going to talk about the what is the length of a vector so we're going to define the concept of length of a vector in rn so let me do over here i think you understand the product of two vectors in rn or inner product standard inner product of two vectors in rn and also i think you observe you can understand you can understand the observations uh, or in this direction of inner products so let's talk about the length concept of length we're going to define the concept of length of a vector so concept of length so let me write down what we're going to do we define the concept of length of a vector length of a vector so what is going to have so suppose so we are talking about a vector in rn obviously we are going work with the uh, vectors in rn so length of a vector in rn so what is the length we are going to define suppose we have a vector alpha let alpha which is with coordinate a1 a2 in this way a n n coordinates so it's a vector in rn so this is the vector in rn so now then the length of a then the length of the vector alpha then the length 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 is defined length of alpha length of alpha is defined is denoted by this sign so denoted by the sign so is in this way we write the length of alpha and it is defined as so length of alpha is equals to root over of inner product alpha into alpha so length this is how the length is defined uh, for standard inner product so length of alpha is alpha into alpha so uh, for example so what we going to have over here so what is alpha into alpha you can all yeah, i think you have already seen that alpha into alpha is always greater than equals to zero so we can define the square root of that because it's never going to be so this quantity never going to be negative so we can define the square root of that so what is alpha into alpha so alpha into alpha is you can see that this is going to be a1 square a2 square and n square so this is how the now i quickly uh, give you a observation so what's about the observations so here we go so a vector in r2 so let's talk about a vector in r2 and we talk about the length of the vector in r2 and defined in this way so why it is called the length uh, from there we also can observe so here we go first let me erase this part 
so here we go so suppose for example I take a vector in R2 so for example a vector alpha which is uh, coordinate a1 and a2 so this is a vector in r2 so you can see from here so this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis and suppose we have the vector mm, this is our vector alpha where the op op is our vector alpha so op with the coordinate is P coordinate of P is A1 and A2 we know that already so now what is the length of alpha length of alpha is square root of uh, inner product alpha comma alpha so now what is alpha comma alpha so alpha comma alpha we know that is going to be A1 square plus A2 square which is if I write from there we can write is A1 minus 0 square and a2 minus 0 square now we can see that why it is called a length so this is the length distance between the point 0 to the point p in two dimensions i think you know from your uh, class 12 uh, geometry that this op uh, op is the length which is the between the op is the uh, distance between op is the uh, root over of a1 minus 0 square plus a2 minus 0 square that's why the this is called the length of the vector alpha so i think you understand the uh, the observations why the name length uh, is called length actually so that is how the length of a vector in the uh, vector in rn is defined so let's uh, give a particular example in r3 and from there we're going to talk about the unit vector so quickly give me an example of a vector in r3 and to find the length of the vector so in r3 find the length find the length length of the vector alpha which is minus 1 suppose minus 2 0 in r3 so we have a vector alpha in r3 so what is the length of alpha length of alpha is equals to inner product of alpha comma alpha so this is the product of two vector alpha comma alpha which is going to be minus 1 square plus minus 2 square plus 0 square and which is going to be root 5 so you can find that the uh, length of this vector alpha is root 5 now so can you find a unit vector in the direction of alpha so before that first we have to talk about what is called the unit vector so a unit vector what is an unit vector so what is an unit vector so what is an unit vector so what is the meaning of unit vector unit vector unit vector suppose we have a vector in rn we talk about any euclidean space rn rn may be 2 3 maybe 1 1 2 3 4 5 in this way so any positive integers rn is defined and alpha is a vector in rn so if the length of alpha if the length of alpha is the real number we know that length of alpha is a real number if length of alpha is real number 1 then alpha is called the unit vector alpha is called a unit vector in rn then if the length of alpha is 1 then alpha is called is called a unit vector a unit vector in rn so that's how the concept of unit vector is defined so in my next video i'm going to talk about how to find uh, unit vectors in a uh, direction of a vector 
so suppose uh, you may be provided a vector alpha and on this direction of the vectors you have to find a vector of unit length so in the next video we are you going to talk about that so please come back again in my next video and thank you for watching this video